point, we'll show how to find trigonometric ratios, the sine, cos, and tan ratios of some special angles. The special angles are considered to be 30 degrees, 45, 60, and I'll talk about 0 and 90 degrees as well on the next page. In order to find the exact values of these, we're not talking about any decimals here, but the exact values, um, we're going to find sides of these two special triangles up here. The triangle on the top left is an isosceles triangle that has a hypotenuse length of 1. So these two angles here will both be 45 degrees. Now since the other two sides are equal, I'll call both of them x. And so I'm going to solve by x using Pythagoras' theorem. So x squared plus x squared would equal 1 squared or 1. Now x squared and x squared add to 2x squared, so this simplifies to 2x squared equals 1. And then solving for x, we would divide both sides by 2 and then get x squared equals a half. And then taking the square roots of both sides, we get x would equal the square root of a half. Now the square root of 1 is 1 in the numerator, and the square root of 2 is of course the root of 2. 2 is not a perfect square. Now we can leave x in this form, but it's normally written in a slightly different form. And we're going to do a procedure called rationalizing the denominator, which means making the denominator a rational number. Right now it's an irrational number. Root 2 is called an irrational number. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom, the numerator and the denominator, both by the root of 2. The root of 2 because that's what's in the denominator. And remember, when you multiply the square root of 2 by the square root of 2, you get 2. And so that's why it rationalizes the denominator. It makes it a, a rational number, actually an integer, 2 in this case. So we have root 2 times root 2 is 2 in the denominator. And 1 times root 2 is root 2 in the numerator. So the value for x is the root 2 over 2. And so on the diagram, I'll label both x's with root 2 over 2. That's the exact length of this side and this side in the triangle. Now to get the angles 30 degrees and 60 degrees, I'm going to take this triangle here. This is supposed to be an equilateral triangle. And so both sides here are 1. This is actually 1 across the bottom, but I'm not labeling it as 1 because that will interfere with the rest of the diagram I'm going to make. And we're going to drop a perpendicular straight down here from the top vertex down to the opposite side. And in that triangle, if this is 60 and 60, then this angle up here would be 30. This one is as well, but I only really need to label one of them. So there's my 30 degree angle and my 60 degree angle. And on the bottom, if it's one across the entire bottom of the triangle, then from here to here would be one half. And so in this triangle on the left here, this 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, the hypotenuse is one, and this is a half across the bottom. This is the other side that we need to find in order to find some of the trig ratios. And so I'm going to label that side h, h being the height of the triangle. And again, we'll find the length of h by using Pythagoras' theorem. And so h squared plus a half squared would equal 1 squared or 1. And so if we square a half, we get 1 quarter. 1 squared is 1 in the numerator, and 2 squared is 4 in the denominator. Now solving for h squared, I would rearrange and subtract a quarter from both sides. 1 minus a quarter, or you could think of the 1 as 4 fourths minus a quarter, will be 3 fourths, or 3 quarters. And now h squared equals 3 quarters, so taking the square root of both sides, we'll get h is equal to now the square root of 3, 3 isn't a perfect square, so we call it the root of 3. But 4 is a perfect square in the, the denominator, so the square root of 4 is 2. So the exact value for h is root 3 over 2. So I'll label that on the diagram. So that length up here is root 3 over 2. Now, uh, we're going to fill in this table here and write the exact values for the sine, cos, and tan of the three angles 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees. And we'll start with the, uh, the sine of 30 degrees first. Now, so looking in this triangle right here, this is the 30 degree angle. Remember, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. For that 30 degree angle, the opposite side 
would be the one half here. And so one half divided by the hypotenuse of one will give us the exact value for the sine of 30 degrees. And so one half divided by one, of course, is one half. Now, for the 45 degree angle, we'll look in this triangle here, and I'm going to look at that angle. I could use this one, but it doesn't matter which one. For that angle, this side right here, this root 2 over 2 would be the opposite side, and the 1 is the hypotenuse. So root 2 over 2 divided by 1 would be the square root of 2 over 2. So the exact value for the sine of 45 degrees is root 2 over 2. Uh, back to this triangle for the sine of 60 degrees. We're going to do this one next. This is the 60 degree angle. Remember sine is opposite. That's the root 3 over 2 side divided by the hypotenuse, the 1. So root 3 over 2 divided by 1 is root 3 over 2. And so that's the exact value for the sine of 60 degrees, root 3 over 2. Now we're going to take a look at the cosine, starting with the cosine of 30. So remember cosine is adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So for this 30 degree angle, this side right here is the adjacent. So root 3 over 2 divided by 1, that's the hypotenuse, is root 3 over 2. And then the cosine of 45 degrees, I'll stay with this angle here. Remember, cosine is adjacent. That would be the root 2 over 2 side divided by the hypotenuse, which is the 1. So root 2 over 2 divided by 1 is root 2 over 2. Notice that the cosine and sine of 45 degrees are the same. Now for the cosine of 60, I'll go back to this triangle right here. This 60 degree angle, remember, cosine is adjacent. This would be the adjacent side, the 1 half and it's adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So 1 half divided by 1 would be 1 half. Now for the tan of the three angles. So remember tan is opposite over adjacent. So for the tan of 30 degrees, this would be the opposite and this would be the adjacent. So to calculate the tan of 30 degrees, it's the 1 half opposite side divided by the root 3 over 2 adjacent side here. So the way we divide rational numbers is we take the numerator and multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator. So 1 half times and the reciprocal of root 3 over 2 is 2 over root 3. And notice these 2's will divide out, so we're left with 1 times 1 in the numerator and 1 times root 3 in the denominator, and so that simplifies to 1 over root 3. And just like the process over here where I rationalize the denominator, I'll do the same with 1 over root 3. Now this is really just a, uh, uh, a preferred form for writing a rational expression that has a radical in it. Um, it's not generally considered to be good mathematical form to leave a, a root, a square root, a radical in the denominator. So I'll multiply the numerator and denominator both by root 3 because there's a root 3 in the denominator. So if I multiply 1 by root 3 in the numerator, I'll get root 3. And when I multiply the denominator root 3 by another root 3, I get 3. So that's an equivalent form to 1 over root 3. And so that's the tan of 30 degrees. Now for the tan of 45 degrees, we'll go back to this triangle over here. There's the 45 degree angle. And remember tan is opposite that's the root 2 over 2 side, divided by the adjacent, another root 2 over 2. So if we take root 2 over 2 and divide it by root 2 over 2, I'm dividing the same thing, and so that should equal 1. Now for finally, for the cos of 60 degrees, uh, we'll use this triangle right here. Remember, it's opposite divided by adjacent, okay? And it's actually just the uh, reciprocal of this because the root 3 over 2 is the... Um, opposite side now and the half is the adjacent so root 3 over 2 divided by 1 half the denominator 2's will divide out uh, I could use this same procedure here uh, this is a little quicker way of doing it if you realize that really just those divided out so I got 1 over root 3 so if the denominator 2's divide out I'm left with root 3 over 1 which of course just equals root 3 so the tan of 60 degrees is, is its exact value is the square root of 3. Now we're going to use these values 